Ella! He'll never guess what I'm working on. A new invention? A new invention? Yeah. How'd you guess? Oh, just intuition. Well, you'll never guess what it does. Automatic cookie baker? It's an automatic cookie bake. Hey, how'd you know? Oh, just intuition. In any case, I'm about ready to give it a test run. Watch that conveyor belt. Once I flip this switch, it'll instantly start pumping out delicious, piping hot chocolate chip cookies at a rapid speed. Here we go! Doesn't seem very instant. Uh, something must be wrong. It's overheating. Oh, I know just what to do about this. Give up and go play outside? Of course not. It just needs cooling down. This freeze ray should do the trick. See? It's working like a... Charm. Hey, Leo. I thought this was supposed to make cookies, not crackers. <laughs> I, I don't understand. What happened? I'm no couples therapist, but I think I might be able to help explain this breakup. You see, Leo's cooking making machine is made of iron. Iron, for those that don't remember, is a chemical element with an atomic number of 26. You may also remember it as the element that IROX is made of. Now, one of the traits of natural iron is that it is ductile. Ductile is just another word for pliable or flexible. It can be shaped and reshaped with relative ease. But, and this is a big but, a huge, gigantic but, iron is ductile at room temperature. When iron gets heated up, it's a whole different story. Like all matter, when iron gets heated up, the atoms inside it move more rapidly. Then, when Leo cooled the iron, those fast-moving atoms were forced to abruptly slow down. This rapid shift from fast to slow meant that some particles were grinding to a halt while others were still bopping around like crazy. All of a sudden, the molecular interior of that iron was like the bumper car arena at the county fair. Kablamo! See? The rapid temperature shift caused the iron to lose its ductility and instead become brittle and unstable. Pretty cool, right? I mean, uh, not cool. Not cool at all. How very sad for Leo and his, uh, cookie-making machine. So, my cookie-making machine cracked apart because it was made of iron. And iron can't be rapidly heated and cooled without breaking up? Sounds like it. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do then. Give up and go play outside. Give up and go play outside. We've got to try a new metal. Uh, Can I get a little positivity, please? Uh? That's the spirit. First up, copper. It works! Blech. These cookies taste like pennies! Unsurprising, copper, or Cu on the periodic table, is an element with the atomic number of 29 and is famously known as the substance pennies are coated in. Back to the drawing board. Fortunately, you can melt this bad boy down and, by my calculations, net almost 89 cents. Thanks, Com. Next, tin. Eureka! It works! It's getting hot in here with that machine going. I'm gonna turn on a fan. Ah! That breeze destroyed my machine! Hmm, that makes sense. See, 10, or SN on the periodic table, has an atomic number of 50. Pure tin is one of the weakest metals and is almost never used for structural purposes unless alloyed with another metal to make it stronger. Now you tell me. How are the cookies anyway? Uh, the flavor's a little weak. <laughs> Next metal. Next, gold. Uh, Leo, we can't afford to build a machine out of gold. Yeah, unless you want to ask mom for a raise in our allowance. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, something else. Come 
Darn thing, Leo! What other metals are there? Have to taste good, be strong, not be expensive. I know! Iron! Oh, wait. Ta-da! Ella! You... you did it! You got it to work! But how? What metal did you use? I used... an oven! Huh? I baked them the old-fashioned way. With a mixing bowl and a baking sheet and an oven. In all the time it took you to try to invent a machine that bakes cookies automatically, I was able to bake a dozen manually. Mmm, this tastes amazing! I guess sometimes old-fashioned is best. Now come on, let's finish these, then go play outside. Right, sure. But I was thinking, what if we had some milk to go with these? I could invent some sort of automatic cow milking self-pasteurizing machine. I just need a strong metal. Leo. Oh, all right. <laughs>